As you watch this teaching, please subscribe, like, and comment so more people can see it. Welcome to today's program. My name is Rick Renner, and today I'm going to keep talking to you about the different kinds of prayer that God has made available to you and to me and to the church. And I brought my toolbox again to make my point. In every toolbox, there are multiple kinds of tools and none of them are the same. They all serve a different purpose. Here is a hammer. I know this is a very ancient looking hammer. This is an old Soviet hammer used for nailing nails. Here's a pair of pliers. I can remember watching my daddy take his pliers, bending nails, pulling nails. But pliers and hammers, they don't do the same thing. Both of them are important if you use them in the right way and for the right situation, but they're not the same instruments. Then of course, there's a wrench. You use a wrench to make sure you put things in their right place. And then a screwdriver. Every home needs a good screwdriver and different kinds of screwdrivers. All of these instruments are so very important in every person's home. Most homes have screwdrivers, wrenches, pliers, and a hammer. But in the same way that you may have multiple tools in your toolbox, God has given us a prayer box that's filled with different kinds of prayers. One size does not fit all. I wish someone had told me that when I was young because I didn't know there were different instruments of prayer. I thought prayer was just prayer and I didn't know there were different kinds of prayer. But the Bible clearly tells us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, praying always with all prayer. And the Greek says with all manner of prayer, with all sorts of prayer, with all kinds of prayer, with all the different kinds of prayer that have been made available for you to use. Which means just like you can have a hammer and pliers and a wrench and a screwdriver in your natural toolbox, you have a supernatural prayer box filled with different kinds of prayer, which includes the prayer of consecration, the prayer of petition, the prayer of authority, the prayer of agreement, the prayer of thanksgiving, the prayer of supplication, the prayer of intercession. These are the instruments of prayer which God has put in your prayer box and you need to know how to use each one of them. And that, my friend, is what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Stay tuned for a teaching you can trust, a message that will inspire, strengthen, and equip you with vital insights and understanding from the Word of God. Here is Rick. I am so glad you've let me come right into your space today. And today I'm gonna to keep talking to you about the different kinds of prayer that God has made available for you and me. And today we're gonna to be looking at the prayer of petition and the prayer of authority. We have a lot of territory to cover today, but I'm offering you my brand new series, which is called Different Kinds of Prayer. Please order this. I know you want to go to new places in prayer, and this series will help you to get there, and it comes with a tremendous study guide. The two of these are so good because you can see it or hear it and read it all at the same time and really reinforce the teaching as it gets down deep inside you. And it doesn't matter whether you're a novice at prayer or whether you're really a seasoned prayer warrior, this series will really help you and encourage you to go forward into the spirit in prayer. And we're also offering you right now a book by my friend, Jermaine Copeland called Prayers That Avail Much. This is a Christian classic. The subtitle says, Scriptural Prayers, for your daily breakthrough. And I like what it says on the back of the book. This book will enhance your ability to pray by placing dozens of specific powerful prayers at your fingertips. I have found this book to be such a blessing in my own life that I want you to have a copy. So order it today by giving us a call or going online. And remember that when you become a partner with our ministry, We'll send you a package of books. If you're already a partner, my friend, you're making a difference in somebody else's life today because of what you give financially to this ministry. People all over the world are being fed 
teaching they can trust. And isn't it amazing how easy it is today to change someone else's life without ever getting out of your chair or leaving your home? Simply by going online or giving us a call, you can become a partner and with a contribution, change someone's life. It is amazing. And according to the Great Commission, in Matthew chapter 28, Jesus says, if we go into the, all the world and teach all nations or help others to do it, he said, I will be with you always. It is a promise that when we get involved in taking the teaching of the Bible to the ends of the earth, Jesus' power shows up in our lives. And my friends, if you're a partner, you should expect it. And if you're not a partner, become a partner today. And we're going to pray for God's power to show up in your life. And the moment you become a partner, we're going to send you my book called Life in the Combat Zone because it's dedicated to our partners. And we're going to send you Denise's little book that is so powerful, it will set you free called The Gift of Forgiveness. We always send these two books to everyone who becomes a part of our partner family. But reach for your Bible. And today we're going to return to our anchor verse, which is in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18 where the Apostle Paul writes, praying always with all prayer and supplication. Today we're going to be looking at the prayer of petition and the prayer of authority. But let's look at this verse again. It says, praying always with all prayer. Those words, with all prayer, are just jam-packed. In Greek it says, diapases pros ukes. It means with all prayer kinds of prayer. You could actually translate it, pray with all manner of prayer, pray with all sorts of prayer, pray with all kinds of prayer. One has actually translated it, pray with all the kinds of prayer that are available for you to use. And when you look at the whole New Testament, you find that the New Testament gives us different Greek words to describe different prayer tools which God has given to the church. For example, there is the prayer of consecration. We saw this yesterday. The Greek word pros eukomai, a word that is used 127 times in the New Testament to describe a prayer of consecration. Then there is the prayer of petition. We're going to be looking at it today, the Greek word diasis. Then there is the prayer of authority. We're going to be looking at that today, the Greek word aiteo. There's the prayer of thanksgiving, the Greek word eucharistia. There's the prayer of agreement based on the Greek word symphoneo. There's the prayer of intercession based on the Greek word intuxus. The word hooper intucano, which describes the prayer of intercession, a word so rare it's only used one time in the entire New Testament in Romans chapter 8, verse 26, to describe supernatural prayer. All of these are different kinds of prayer. And just like you have different instruments in your toolbox, God has put different kinds of prayer in our spiritual prayer box for us to use at different moments and in different situations. But today, we're going to look at the prayer of petition. And the prayer of petition can be found in Ephesians 6 verse 18, where Paul says, praying always with all prayer and, are you ready? Supplication. Let's look at that word supplication. In Greek, it is the word diasis. I call this the prayer of petition, and you'll understand better in just a moment. This word in its various forms are translated prayer and petition, petition, and it's used more than 40 times in the New Testament. Now, if I said something to you 40 times, I think you'd understand. I wanted you to understand it. God gives us this word 40 times in the New Testament. And in Ephesians 6, verse 18, it's translated as the word supplication, the Greek word diasis, which really is the idea of a petition. A petition. It is from the Greek word deomai. Now, listen carefully. The word deomai in its most basic form describes a need or a want and something that is very urgent. This is something that is urgently felt in one's personal life. It could describe an urgent need for power, an urgent need for money, an urgent need for provision, an urgent need for peace, an urgent need for some kind of divine provision 
or intervention, something that you feel very, very urgently. This is a person who's saying, God, I have to have you to move in my life. I need you to move and meet my need, and I need you to do it urgently right now. And the only reason that a person would pray this kind of prayer is because they feel some kind of insufficiency in themselves. They realize, God, I'm not able to do this by myself. I cannot meet my own need. So they move into this mode of prayer where they urgently ask God to move. They offer him a petition based on the Greek word deasis. And we see an example of this in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 7, to describe the prayer life of Jesus himself. Listen to what the Bible says. Who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers, that word prayers is this Greek word deasis, the word for a petition, to cry out for God to urgently move to meet a need in your life. The verse says, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up deasis, urgent prayers and urgent petition and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. That word prayers in this verse is based on the Greek word deasis, which means Jesus was so aware of his humanity at that moment and his need for God to move that he offered up an urgent demand, an urgent need. It was a petition. He prayed for the Father to give him strength and power at a moment when he needed strength and when he really needed prayer. This word, deasis, describes a faith-filled cry for God to help, for God to urgently move in your life. A person praying this kind of prayer makes an appeal from a position of humility, asking God to grant some kind of special petition. Like a request for spiritual power to minister to someone else. You're urgently asking God, give me the power I need to minister. Or strength to resist some kind of temptation that's urgent that would be a petition. Or strength to be sustained in the midst of a crisis, or power to overcome temptation, money to pay a bill, intervention in the life of a spouse or a loved one. This is a deasis, God, I need you to do this. I need you to do it now. It is a very high level of prayer where you're asking God to urgently move and to move right now. This is a petition, which is defined by the Greek word deasis. It pictures a believer who recognizes his inability to meet his own need and his utter dependence upon God to move in his life. And he's beseeching God to move on his behalf. And that is the very word we see in Ephesians 6, verse 18, when Paul says, praying always with all prayer and supplication. That word supplication is this Greek word deasis. It carries this idea, praying always with all prayer and with an earnest, sincere, and heartfelt, urgent petition. The prayer of petition. And there is a time and there is a place for this. But then there is also the prayer of authority. You say, well, what is the prayer of authority? Well, let's look at a word that Jesus uses in John chapter 15, verse 7. And in John 15, verse 7, Jesus said, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. If you have your Bible to open, circle that word ask and take a note. In Greek, it is the word aiteo. I call this the prayer of authority. You'll understand why in just a moment. The word ask in Greek is the word aiteo. And guess what? This word is so strong. It means to ask, to demand, or even to command. <laughs> it's a very powerful word. And it's used 80 times in the New Testament. It is used so many times in the New Testament. It's hard to misunderstand this word. It means to ask, to demand, or even to command. So when Jesus says, you will ask what you will, it could literally be translated, you shall demand what you will, and it shall be done unto you. And that's why I call this the prayer of authority. It means to demand, to command something, 
to require something to be done. It is a prayer prayed with great boldness and with great authority. I remember the first time I ever heard anyone pray like this and it just disarmed me and shocked me. And to be honest, it offended me because I had never heard anybody pray so boldly and authoritatively. I thought, who in the world do you think you are to talk to God like that? He was commanding and demanding what should be done in the name of Jesus. And it kind of put me off. But when you understand the whole context of John chapter 5, verse 7, there's nothing offensive about this at all. Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. And guess what? It really could be translated, you shall demand what you will. But the key is the first part of John chapter 15, verse 7, where Jesus says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. That word abide used both times, is the Greek word meno, which means to stay, to dwell, to lodge, remain, or continue, which means the verse carries this idea. If you permanently and habitually lodge, abide, and remain continually in me, and my words permanently and habitually lodge, abide, and remain continually in you, you will be able to demand whatever you wish, and it will be done unto you. And my friends, listen careful. Jesus knew that if his word took a permanent residency in our hearts and in our minds, we would not ask for something that was out of line. He knew that. And when we allow God's word to lodge in our hearts and to lodge in our minds, that word so transforms us that when we pray, we pray in accordance with the word of God, which is lodged inside us. We don't pray out of alignment. And when you know you're praying in accordance with God's word, you don't have to sheepishly make your prayer requests. You can boldly assert your faith and expect God to move on your behalf. And that is why we read in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. And this is the confidence we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. But notice in verse 14, the Bible says this is the confidence we have in him. That word confidence, the Greek word parousia, it depicts someone who is exceedingly bold or exceedingly frank, very courageous, which means when you know you're speaking from the reservoir of God's word inside you and you're in agreement with the word of God, you don't have to be sheepish when you pray. You can pray an authoritative prayer. You can be confident. You can be bold. You can be really frank. That's why I call this the prayer of authority. It's based on the word of God. And John says, And this is the confidence we have in him, the boldness we have in him, that if we ask, look at that word ask, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And we know that if he heareth whatsoever we ask, there's the word ask again. We know that we have the petitions. Oh, look at this word petitions that we desired of him. Look at the word desired. Listen, friend, the word ask, the word petitioned, And the word desire in this verse are all from the same Greek word, the Greek word aiteo, which means to ask or to demand the very word used 80 times in the New Testament, meaning to ask, to demand, to command. And it tells us again that if God's word dwells in us, we can pray in accordance with that word and we do not need to be sheepish when we pray. For example, if somebody is sick, you don't need to sheepishly ask God to heal. You know it's the will of God to heal and therefore you can demand, you can command, you can expect, you can pray with confidence for God to move because you know what the Bible says. You can pray a prayer of authority. Wow. And God is not offended 
When we pray that kind of outspoken prayer, God moves. When God's word is stored in your heart, and you have an accurate knowledge based on God's word, you can be bold and you can be courageous when you pray, and that is exactly what God wants you to do. And with this kind of prayer at your disposal, when suddenly you're confronted with a need, you can be bold, you can be courageous, you can be authoritative because you know what the Bible says and you know what God wants to do, And so you don't need to be sheepish when you pray. You can boldly assert yourself in faith and expect God to move. So today, we've seen two kinds of prayer. Number one, the prayer of petition based on the Greek word diasis. When you feel an urgent need in your life and you move into a mode of prayer where you call out to God in faith and urgently ask Him, God, please move in my life. God, I need you to intervene in my family, in my finances, in my health, in my situation. I need you to intervene and give me what I need. That is a prayer petition. Or number two, the prayer of authority based on the Greek word aeteo, which means to command, to demand, to really expect God to move. It is a prayer prayed with confidence. And by the way, if you need somebody to agree with you in prayer right now for anything you're facing in life, our team knows how to make a petition. We know how to ask God to urgently move in your life. And we know how to pray a prayer of authority based on the word of God, asking God to do explicit things in your life with boldness and confidence and expectation. If you need somebody to pray with you, give us a call or send us an email and we will put our prayer to work with you for God to move in your life. You can do it by yourself, but it always helps when somebody is praying with you and we're here for you. So give us a call or send us your email right now. But I'll be back in just a moment, and I want to pray for you. When you work around your house, it's important for you to know which tools to use to get a job done. Using the wrong tools will guarantee frustration and failure every time. In the same way, there are many different tools of prayer for you to use to get results when you pray. It's important for you to know there are different kinds of prayer available and which ones you need to use at different times. Like tools in a toolbox, one prayer does not fit all. That's why God has provided different kinds of prayers for every situation. In this series, Different Kinds of Prayer, Rick Renner will teach you about the different types of prayer that are available for you to use when you pray, like the prayer of consecration, the prayer of petition, the prayer of authority, the prayer of thanksgiving, the prayer of supplication, the prayer of intercession. You'll be so glad you took time to dig deep into this powerful five-part series with Rick Renner, available in digital or physical formats starting at just $10. In addition, we are also offering you the classic book on prayer called Prayers That Avail Much by Jermaine Copeland. Rick Renner says, this comprehensive study on prayer will teach you how to pray to get results. This book should be considered essential reading for every serious Christian. So please, order yours today. This beautifully bound book can be yours for just $26. Don't miss this special offer, the series Different Kinds of Prayer, and the book Prayers That Avail Much. Call the number on your screen now or go to renner.org to order. Call or go online now. This week, take advantage of our two-week cyber sale. We're offering a 25% discount on all our resources. That's right, 25% off everything at our renner.org store. Go to renner.org right now and save on all your favorite teachings by Rick and Denise. Now is the time to order the products you've been waiting for. Go to renner.org today and save big on books, CDs, study guides, and more. Go to renner.org to order. Hey friends, this is Rick Renner and Joe Renner. It is so good to be with you, Dad. Joel, I always like to be with you. You know what I'm excited about? What? This project we're working on. And what is this project? This is our new Moscow TV studio. This is the slab and they poured the concrete yesterday. I was amazed. They poured from morning to the end of the evening because the slab is so enormous. And on this slab, they're about to put up the walls in two weeks. And finally, when it's finished, there's gonna be a studio for me where we're going to produce up to five different programs, a studio for Denise, offices where we're going to receive calls and 
answer letters and minister to people's needs. And Joel, we even produce our programs, not just in Russian and in English, but in a whole myriad of languages. It's amazing. It really is. Praise God, people are hungry for the Word of God. And I believe we'll be able to film and produce many programs so people's lives can be filled with the Word of God. You know, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 21 says, the lips of the righteous feed many. And I really love that verse. I believe that verse describes our assignment. Our job is to feed many people, but we can only do it because of partners like you. And when we call you a partner, we really mean you are a partner. We can't do this by ourselves. We do this in partnership with you. And today, we want to say thank you. And we're pretty excited about the new slab. So we wanted to show you. And now the walls are going to go up. And by this time next year, we're going to be producing programs right here. And thank you so, so much for being a part of our giving team. We have seen that God has given us the prayer of consecration based on the Greek word prosyukomai. God has given us the prayer of petition based on the Greek word diasis. God has given us the prayer of authority based on the Greek word iteo. But wait, 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 there is still the prayer of thanksgiving, the prayer of agreement, the prayer of supplication, the prayer of intercession. These are all tools which God has put in our spiritual toolbox. There are different kinds of of prayer for us to use. And that's why I want you to get my brand new series called Different Kinds of Prayer. My friends, order it today. It comes in multiple formats and it comes with a marvelous study guide. And I want you to order Jermaine Copeland's book, which we're making available to you right now, called Prayers That Avail Much. You need this book. This book will help you. It says scriptural prayers for our daily breakthrough. God wants you to have a breakthrough. And maybe you don't know the words to say when you pray. This book will put the words in your mouth. It is filled with anointed prayers. It puts all of these prayers right at your fingertips. I use this book in my own life and I know it will be a blessing to you as well. So order yours today by going online or give us a call. And remember that when you become a partner with our ministry, a partner helps us take this teaching to people all over the world by giving financially into our ministry. We'll send you my book called Life in the Combat Zone and Denise's book called The Gift of Forgiveness as our way of saying welcome to our partner family. But I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that we can pray a prayer of consecration and recommit ourselves. I thank you in moments when we feel an urgent need, we can offer a prayer of petition in faith and you will move on our behalf. I thank you that when we know the word of God, we can pray a prayer of authority based on the word of God and confidently believe you to move and to answer us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for these different tools you've given to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. But remember Ecclesiastes 8.4, where the word of a king is, there is power. Thank you for watching this broadcast. For more information on product resources or to learn how you can partner with this ministry, please connect with us at renner.org. Also, please be sure to visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you enjoyed that teaching, please subscribe, like, and comment so more people can see it.